Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about what a reprint does to a card like Tamagoyf or like let's say the Zendikar Fetchlands. So reprinting a card, Tamagoyf was $210, $225. Actually a few websites still have them for $225, card, card Kingdom being one of them. So what happens when a card is going to be reprinted? Even at Mythic, the card drops tremendously in price. On TCG Player Lows, you can get it for $160, mint. And I expect Tamagoyf to continue to drop down you know, way past $150, I feel. On eBay, you can probably snag them for less than $150 uh, within a week or two. So Tamagoyf has slipped $85 from retail. And when you look at the Zendikar fetch lands, they're not going to do too much different. If anything, the Zendikar fetch lands will fall even more than Tamagoyf. And we're going to take a look at Polluted Delta. Polluted Delta was a card that was at one point over a hundred bucks, a hundred and ten dollars. Now you can get a non-counterfeitable. Uh, when I mean non-counterfeitable, I mean the hologram. Uh, the counterfeit people have no inkling to make the hologram. They have no reason to make it. The margins on these cards are much less now that they are going to be reprinted. Therefore, you know, if the Chinese counterfeiters were you know, wanting to be as lazy as possible and make the most money, they would just counterfeit legacy cards. They wouldn't touch any of the holofoil cards. And I feel very confident saying this right now. You can trade for holofoil cards and not have to worry about if they're fake. That's a totally diff different issue. But back to the Zendikar Fetchlands, they will follow like Polluted Delta. Um, I mean, Polluted Delta right now, the from the original Onslaught one, is about 40 bucks. So it fell from 120 bucks to around 40 bucks. No, the Zendikar Fetchlands are going to go. F they were at over a hundred or close to a hundred dollars at one point, and now they will never see that point price point again and i'm very happy i'm very happy that's true uh, at the end of the day magic is meant for people to play with magic magic is not meant as a life investment as a mutual fund or a bond of some type i'm not sure i i've never recommended people to you know <laughs> treat it as if you're having fun doing mtg finance that's having fun that's a hobby, and i pay money for most of my hobbies i don't expect to make money from hobbies or my enjoyment uh, if i go to dave and busters i don't expect to win back my money any in any sense or if i go golfing um, i mean it comes down to the fact that magic is a hobby and reprints are good for people who enjoy the hobby but reprints are very bad for people who want to turn the hobby into making money